What is up you guys? Welcome to my personal channel. My name is Spencer. I am a 23 year old non-binary individual and I am 10 months on T. And I know you're like, Spencer, what's the big deal about being 10 months on T? Well, I am in the double digits now, which to me is a big deal for some reason. And on top of that, I am two months away from being one year on T, which is mind blowing. So 10 months on T is a big deal for me. So I bought new shoes. To commemorate that and I kind of love them. Alright so I am 10 months on T so let's talk about the changes. Everything has been pretty consistent from voice to body shape to everything else eating and libido but one of the biggest changes that I have experienced so far this month has been facial hair growth which wants me to start a discussion about this because I have been getting so many questions on Tumblr about this one fact that I think is pretty mute. As you guys know, I do not like hair. I shave my legs, I shave my armpits, I manscape every other part of my body. I am blessed to have a genetics that doesn't have hair on my torso, at least not yet, or my um, much on my arms or legs, but I just don't like hair. The only place that I like copious amounts of hair is on my head, and other than that, I am good. So I have been getting questions of Spencer, how do you identify as transmasculine, yet you don't like facial hair? Really? Really, guys? If I am the first person to tell you this, you do not have to have facial hair to be considered masculine or male, nor does lack of facial hair make you less feminine or less female. None of that, that doesn't go hand in hand. Growing hair on any part of your body makes you human. And that's really what I'm trying to drive home here. Um, what I find so interesting in the masculine community, the trans masculine community, is this of almost an obsession of facial hair or hair growth when documenting t um, transition. Now, I do understand for many trans men out there, facial hair is something that's very important. It's almost seen like a rite of passage or a very big milestone once it becomes noticeable, which by all means, do you document the hell out of it? But I think it's just so funny how we just focus so much on the three or four hairs under our chin when we first starting transition. And for me, it was never, that was never the case. So this is a message to my pre-T people or people who just do not grow facial hair. I want to give you a little bit of a case study. My twin brother is a 23 year old cisgender male who has no facial hair at all. He doesn't have low T and he doesn't have alopecia. He is just a guy blessed with smooth skin for probably the rest of his life. And there is no doubt in his mind, my mind, or anybody in society that he is any less male. On the other side, I have a older brother who is a 25 year old cisgendered male who if he doesn't cut his hair every three days, it becomes a wild mess. And still, there is no doubt in his mind, my mind, or anywhere in society that he is anything other than a man. And now, let's look at me. I am a transgender 23-year-old individual who, since my six months on T, no one has used female pronouns to address me. Again, I don't have facial hair, as you see. Yet, to the ignorant population, I am viewed as male. With that being said, I want to give a little bit of encouragement to all of my pre-T or people who don't have the facial hair that they thought they would, that it doesn't affect your masculinity in any way, shape, or form. There are many ways that human beings exist. There are many ways that men exist, and facial hair is not something that makes you more or less male. Just like having facial hair is not something that makes you less female. It makes you human. And we all exist in a different way with different genes and different makeups, and it's spectacular. One of the questions I got on Tumblr that I want to address, which is why I'm actually having this conversation, is um, my buddy Ohan, who you guys should definitely check out and drop a line because he just had top surgery on Tuesday. My buddy Ohan and I started T roughly within the same week. I think we were like a couple of days off. Um, we were so alike or so similar was that we had the same reaction the first time we started tea. I just think I caught my reaction earlier. We're both allergic to sesame suspended testosterone or sesame seed suspended anything. So my tea and his is suspended in cottonseed oil. So we're both 10 months on tea. 
Um, though I think he will say nine months because for a month his tea was like weird because he didn't catch his allergy um, when I did. And he has a full, beautiful mustache. Now the question I got on Tumblr was, does it make me jealous or upset or does it make me feel like my testosterone is somehow compromised? Because Ohan and I have very similar start dates, yet Ohan has this mustache and I don't. So what I have to say to that is simply, as I said before, it hasn't been since six months on T that anyone has used female pronouns when addressing me. With that being said, why would I think that my T was compromised? Because the world still views me as more masculine than anything else. So no, I am not upset or jealous that Ohan has a mustache and I don't. And also, as I said before, I don't want hair, so I would just shave it off if I had a mustache and just be mad that I would have to like learn how to shave my face. But I understand where the question's coming from. I do understand how stereotypes do play a huge part when it comes to us trying to blend in and have the rest of society perceive us how we've always saw ourselves. Yes, I do know that society tends to think someone with a mustache must be more male, which is definitely flawed thinking, but society is flawed to begin with. But no, it doesn't make me feel less or behind or compromised in any way, shape, or form. And it shouldn't make you feel that way either. If your buddy is one month, two month, three month ahead or behind and you experience, and they experience more facial hair or hair growth than you do, that doesn't make you any less whatever it is that you identify as. We all progress at our own speeds. And as I said, people still view me as male with or without facial hair. And they will with you as well. So hopefully I'm not the first person to tell you this. And hopefully I'm not the only person to tell you this. But facial hair does not make a man. You make a man. Regardless of what's on your face or what's not. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great weekend or a great week and are gearing up for an even better weekend. I do want to let you know that the results are in. Everyone voted. Um, and I got more for piercing than I did tattoo. Now, I do have to have a job to live. So I had to ask my job if it was okay to get snake bites and unfortunately they declined. So instead, what I did get was known as a vertical industrial in my right ear, which I'll show you now. I don't know if you can see it. It matches all of my jewelry. Rose gold, rose gold, rose gold. It is about two weeks um, so on tomorrow. It'll be two weeks since I had it. It's healing great. It hurt like a bitch, so I highly suggest this piercing. But prepare yourself if you're going to get it. And um, thank you so much for your support and your poll. I'm getting a tattoo at the end of February, so stick around for more body art. Stick around for more Spencer. Stick around for more updates and everything else. Again, I hope you guys are having a great week and are gearing up for an even better weekend. Shabbat Shalom, and until next time.